all right what's going on guys windows 8 here welcome back to another video on my channel today i'm going to be restarting my script tutorial series and this time i'm actually going to do more than one episode so i'm going to turn this into an actual series and i'm going to do more than one so this being the first one i'm going to be explaining the basics once again but um, from a different perspective so we're going to start off assuming that you already have script loaded on your server and you already have your script and you're just ready to start. So what we're going to do is open our script right here. Now the first thing I would like to say is if you put anything with a hashtag and you type anything after, that will not be registered in the script at all. So if you want to, for example, put um, my first my first script that's that will not register so if you look here at the script wiki you can see that we have events conditions effects and expressions the way this works is you start with an event which would be something here and you can link a condition and an effect to the event so for example you could do on armor change if the player can fly ban the player just as an example that's an event going to a condition going to an effect so you're always going to be starting with an event unless you are doing a command so what I would like to do first is a command so we're going to do command and we'll do slash bmc and then we're going to put a colon after this now under our command we're going to have everything else so we're going to have the aliases which are other commands that will execute this same thing here so if we do ttt that would be an alias for this command now we would do permission and then we want our colon here and we're going to do whatever permission so just command dot gmc and then we're going to do permission message and then this is the message that will be sent if the person does not have this permission so we're just going to do this no permission in red and we're going to do executable by players so this means that only players will be able to use this command and if we set this to console that means only console will be able to use this command now we're going to use trigger using trigger is saying everything below this is code that needs to be executed so when you have a trigger you put your colon enter tab and that's going to start a new line so now that we're at our trigger we're going to do set players or set set game mode of player to creative and we're going to save that with control s or here it depends on what program you're using but control s will always save it um we're going to close this we're going to type sk reload and then the name of our script so yt and if i quickly put myself into survival mode and i do slash gmc actually i made a mistake here these quotation marks are not supposed to be here so we'll remove those and then reload it and we'll go back to survival and then we'll do GMC and there we go it set us to creative mode so now let's have it send a message as well so message and now we want our quotation marks here let's do yellow your game mode is now creative and we want to do two play to the player or two player Honestly, you don't even need to add this at the end um, unless you're working with multiple arguments. And we'll reload this and then we'll do GMC again. And as you can see, it sends us the message. All right, so now let's do another let's do an event. So we will do on block break message you broke a and we'll do this we'll do event item or event block to player 
We'll reload this and break a block. As you can see, it tells me what block up what block I'm breaking. So now we're gonna do a damage event. So we're gonna do on damage of entity. If victim is cow or is a cow, either or. Now since we're doing a damage event, we need to refer to a victim or an attacker. So now we're gonna message you hit a cow to attacker so like I just said you have to refer to a victim or attacker if we had this set to player we would get an error so we have to stick to attacker and then let's reload here and let me find a cow right here you hit him it says you hit a cow so let's try another event Let's do on craft of golden apple and we're going to cancel event and we're going to message to player you can't do that so let's reload this let's get a crafting table And then let's get some gold and then an apple and it does not let us it's canceling the event and it's telling us you cannot do that so let's try another command let's do command slash dig and we're gonna ignore all the rest of the stuff above we're gonna do just straight straight to trigger and we're gonna do break the block load player Let's reload this again. And let's stand right here. Slash dig. Boom. Now, for example, if you didn't want to actually drop the block, instead of breaking it, we can do set the block below the player to air. And then that will not um, drop it. That will just remove it. And set it straight to air. So let's try this. Let's do another command. Command slash force. And we're going to do an argument. So we're going to do player. Now I'm going to talk about more about arguments in one of the future videos. But I'm just going to slightly touch on this a little bit. So we're going to do trigger. So we're going to do make arg1 say hello. Now if we reload this and we do slash force windows 8, it forces me to say hello. Now our argument here is just a player. So this would basically be doing force windows 8 since that's what I typed. Actually, if we do it this way, player, we can actually do make arg1, so this is argument1, which would be this, say, and then we would do arg2, which would be this. So if I sk reload yt, force windows 8. Welcome to my server. There we go. Now we could do something like this. So on damage of entity, if attacker is a player, kill the entity. That's incorrect. Kill the victim. We can only use attacker and victim when it comes to damage events. So we hit this and it instantly dies. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Part two will come out soon. I'm planning on doing this as a very long series so I can cover basically everything that I know. 
because I'm not the most experienced in scripts, but I definitely know how to use it and I know how to get stuff done. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if it helped, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.